All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at the Playmobil Red Serpent Pirate Ship. This is new to the North American market for 2015. Officially, it comes with 74 pieces. This is a medium-large pirate ship. It's not based on the, the larger hull, which like the, the larger, major, major, most expensive pirate ship they have out, but it's not one of the smallest ones either. It's not based on one of their, their littler hulls, like the, the last little black Corsair that I reviewed. It's got a, a number of stickers around the outside for detailing. They're a little bit on the, the comic kind of side, but overall I very much like the look of this thing and I like how much rigging is involved with the, the different types of sails in, the, in the, the front, the back, and in the center with the, the square sails. It also has print on one of the sails, which looks kind of nice, looks kind of raggedy, but uh, other sails don't have it, so it's kind of not overdone. I think that adds a little bit of realism to it, having just the, the more plain looking white sails, but just having a little bit of print on there just to, to keep it from looking too boring. The Red Serpent theme starts right out here on the bow sprit with that unique piece, and they just kind of get into the, that same dark red color for the, the hull. The deck is fairly empty and open. They give you a couple of barrels and things. There are three figures included with the set that I'll, I'll show you separately. But there is a nice little place, just a little indentation in here. Not really a, a hold, but just an indentation that will allow you to hold this nice uh, treasure chest here, which actually locks. It has a locking mechanism. So right now it's not going to open up, but slide that over. And you can open that up and you see it's got a, it's not full, but it's got a bunch of gold coins in there. All the way back at the rear, the rear deck has more of the dark red coloring in there with some nice plank texture, so it looks very wooden. You've got your, your wheel, of course, and there are several different levels here so you can stand your figures up higher so they can get a better look forward. And there are a couple spots, one on either side with those little round things that stick up to allow you to, to hold a figure, it kind of grabs them by their feet, and there's another one over here on this side here, and there are some on the deck itself in different places to actually hold them up so they're nice and secure. The set also includes a couple of cannons which are nicely placed in here, and you can rotate them from side to side, and these are spring-loaded with the trigger mechanism that's in there, and pull that, this will actually shoot out quite fast and far. Has a, a rubber tip to it, just, whoops, whoa, what am I doing? <laughs> just for, for safety there. Uh, it's not too soft, but you know it'll, it'll, it'll give a nice punch and actually hit something, but it's not, it's not dangerous. I really like that those are well integrated into the sides here with their little portholes that, that give them enough room to, to move around, and they just, they just look good as well, and they work. And there are two of them. You don't have to worry about uh, like some of the, the ships where you've got the ability to move them around, and you have to move them around. You've got two, and they're already there. The only bad thing about these cannons is that you can't use them on land just as they are. They don't come with any stands or you know, wheels or anything that you can move them, move them around with. You can just pick them up and play with them, but as they are, they're really designed to work in the boat. All the way up top, there is a crow's nest here, which has one of those holders, so it'll securely hold a figure up there very nicely, and there's plenty of room for them to look around. Got your skull and crossbones banner that's hanging up there, and the one thing that I that I don't like that's going on with the, the look of this boat is that the, the way the sails kind of hang, the way that they're strung up, they don't really make sense. I've actually sailed boats for a number of times throughout my life, and uh, it, it just kind of bugs me to see that this one is it's over on this side, and it's on the left side, but it looks like the wind is pushing it in from here, and there's no good way to, to kind of reshape that. It still doesn't want to shape up properly. And then I had a lot of trouble with this sail back here, this gaff rigged sail, just the, the shape of it didn't really work out well. It, it's easy to put it on backwards, but if you put it on backwards, you'll quickly know that you have done that. The shape of it is kind of awkward, but just as it is, see, it kind of bends right in here. Just, I think they just didn't uh, cut the holes exactly or punch the holes in this one exactly right with this one. So that, that just kind of bugs me a little bit. It doesn't really affect the play value at all. And I think this, the ship still looks good, but 
you know, if you know how to sail, you know how wind works with sails, then that may bug you a little bit. But it may have just been something that, uh, you know, it's just a, a little error that won't occur on all of these ships. I do like how many, again, how many sails it has, how many different types of sails, and how everything is all, all pretty nicely rigged up. Here are the three figures that are included with the set. I believe that's the captain on the far left, first mate in the center, and then just another crew member on the right. Gosh, they have so much decoration, so much print in different colors, and the gold inlays and everything. So much going on with their their outfits. These are definitely pirates that are that are into their looks and and into to fashion. Not too much into shaving though. Definitely, definitely got that uh, ragged looking uh, ragged look in their their faces. But these are pretty good looking, and uh, I think they look good just even just by them themselves. And they kind of kind of tell stories. There's a lot that you can say about them. A bunch of weapons are included here. No, uh, yeah, not really any other extra stuff is included beyond what's just applied to these, but some of them do have extra uh, weapons as well. These are nice coats too. I like those coats on the, on the right because they have a little extra detail on, on the back. I personally especially like the color scheme of the guy in the center. It's just very different with the, the teal and the kind of maroon color, maybe like a plum color you know it's just not something that you see very frequently so this is an, an interesting group of figures here for one last thing i did want to show the difference in size between the three major sizes of ships that are currently sold so that just gives you an idea of kind of how this one sits right in the in the middle literally and figuratively in terms of its size and i think personally i think this one has a perfect size to it uh, it gives you plenty of space to add lots of of extra uh, figures on here. You've got enough room to do battles on deck, but it's still small enough that it doesn't take up too much space in a kid's room. It doesn't take up too much space on display. I think that overall it, it looks quite good and you know it's nice to have a large pirate ship option at a, a kind of reduced price. I, I really appreciate that that thought for you know a little, little extra extra value and allowing folks who want to have a, a good looking nice you know multi-sailed ship that uh, that uh, just doesn't completely break the bank please share your thoughts about this set by leaving a comment down below thank you so much for watching let me know if there's anything else that I can do better on these videos and I'll be talking to you again very soon